The much publicized nationwide demonstrations by the Kasukwe camp, which were supposed to run from 31 July, have been a monumental flop. Kasukwe had called for mass nationwide demonstrations to boycott the High Court decision, which nullified his nomination as a presidential candidate in the forthcoming August 23 elections. Part of the message circulated by the Kasukwe campaign team over the weekend read, Today we officially declared mass nationwide demonstrations against government judiciary and constitutional case. We have announced this mass action on Friday to give you time to buy all the basic necessities you need during the national shutdown. On Monday, 31 July, we are not going to work until President Emerson Mnangagwa orders the courts to, con to reconsider President Kasukwere's nomination as a presidential candidate in the forthcoming elections. Enough is enough. We urge citizens to remain at home, no going to work while we take to the streets to fight for our candidate. The target will be ZANPF offices, police stations, schools and hospitals. However, it was business as usual in Zimbabwe from Monday to this day as people ignored Kasukwere's calls for the nationwide mass demonstrations. Daily Monitor reported that the shutdown, the shutdown flopped because people are tired of being used by selfish politicians who care only for themselves. Most people prefer to work and not waste time sitting at home or marching in the streets. Mary Senga, a vendor in her CBD, told the Daily Monitor that these shutdowns and demonstrations only pulled them back. These people who call for demonstrations do not know what, that we survive on day-to-day -day ends. Our children depend on us, so how do they expect us to survive during this period? If they want government policies changed, they should go and talk with the government and not us. To Alexandra Mburi is Daily Monitor has also learned that Sneva Maskwara Sei, Godfrey Senengamu and Jim Kunaka had held a quite a number of meetings over the weekend in Harare, Blawayo and Mashingo trying to mobilize the Moses but failed dismally. According to an inside source, the group failed to pay those who would be demonstrators as promised. Another source went on to say that the group started suffering resistance from the masses during the mobilization period as they thought the people would have overlooked the crimes Kasukwere had committed during the Mugabe regime. Some even demanded to see Kasukwere himself before taking to the streets.